Show starts in five minutes. No, that's not big enough. No, that's not big enough either. That's more like it. We're delighted to have you with us, and we extend a cordial welcome to you. We've lined up the top stars from Hollywood and from all over the world to entertain you on our giant screen with the new colorful motion pictures you've been hearing about and reading about. To add to your enjoyment, we're all wound up to bowl you over at intermission time with live wire service at our snack bar, where you'll find a tempting variety of favorite foods and beverages. Your continued patronage is very, very welcome. Show starts in four minutes. Show starts in three minutes. Show starts in two minutes. Refreshment. For your enjoyment, there's hot, fresh popcorn, tempting, delicious hot dogs, and so many kinds of ice cream. And of course, sparkling, delicious, ice-cold Coca-Cola for everybody at the refreshment counter now. Remember, your favorite snack will taste especially good with world-famous ice-cold Coca-Cola. Our new cutlass now. Sure handles easy. Drive happy, cutlass can make you a little drive happy. I forgot to get the newspaper. Glad we ordered these swivel bucket seats. <laughs> yeah, in case I get to drive someday. The Cutlass S, Oldsmobile Sporty Fastback at a price that's less than you might think to help make you really drive happy. Drive happy. Can I drive now? Show starts in one minute. Oh, I can't go out tonight with your father with his hair. And my shampoo washes the body out. Don't wash out body, Mom. Cream in body. With Luster Cream Cream Shampoo. Really? Luster Cream Creams in body. It has more bodybuilding ingredients than any leading shampoo. Creamy lather. Beautiful body. New hairdresser, dear. No, new Luster Cream Shampoo. And a very wise daughter. Kids seem to keep on getting dirty You seem to take it all in stride You got a lot more dirt with children You get a lot more clean with new Tide Now there's a new Tide Designed just for you Tide To get out the dirt kids get into 
You got a lot more dirt with children. You get a lot more clean with new generation tide. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Dude, Striped Crusader, thank you so much for gifting 20 subs, and congratulations uh, to any that was able to nab one. Thank you, thank you very much. What a nice gesture. Did my lights die? No, none of my lights. All my lights are still on. Thank you so much, Striped Crusader. I also want to thank Gothic Vulture, who gifted five subs, I think, at the end of last stream, and maybe I just missed it. I've been so dark. That's not too dark, right? Mm, what I it might just look different on this webcam. You're used to seeing me over there with a different camera. It might be the angle. I could turn I could turn the light up if you if you must see me. How's that? Is that any better? It's so bright in here now. Ugh. Can you see too much of me? I can go back into the shadows. It's Rocky Raccoon. Thank you for the 21 months. Boy, oh boy, a Brutal Moose stream on my birthday. Hey, happy birthday. This is an awesome bidet indeed. Hope you're having a great day too, Ian and chat. Okay, I'm going back in the shadows then. MJ's not here. MJ's upstairs uh, in her bed. Chilling. Off sick. Thank you for the 12 months. Hey, it's my 28th birthday today. What a great gift. Happy birthday, everybody. It's everybody's birthday today. Happy birthday. No, really. Happy happy birthday, off sick. Sploopius Maximus, thank you for the 12. Uh, 12. 12. Uh, 12 months. I am looking forward to a spooky stream. I need to wake up. <laughs> I'm just now hitting puberty, yes. Ari Lou, thank you for the 21 months. Sasha Death, thank you for the two months. Excited to see some goat hoes on tonight's stream. Plesson, thank you for gifting those two subs. Tracy Bluth, rip, thank you for the 23 months. SGS 404, thank you for the 39 months. And Cup. Cakes dot rar. Thank you for the thirteen months. Oh, is it Friday the thirteenth? Happy terrifying day, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congrats on the puberty. Thank you very much. I've been working uh, diligently to get here, and now I am. Today, we're gonna be starting. I'm assuming we're not gonna finish this. Mm. A game called Gothos. Uh, you can see this uh, uh, nice uh, woman having a, a lovely time being a vampire, I think. Um, I don't really know anything about it. It's rated mature for animated blood and animated violence. So any babies, please leave. Now, there could be titties. It doesn't say that there's going to be titties, but, I mean, you never know. I excellent. Thank you for the 72 months. Awuga. It is indeed a very Awuga cover. Uh, Sean told me to play this one, actually. I just happened to have it. It's on four, on three discs, so it seems like it's going to be kind of long, maybe? 1997, FMV. Am I sure it's Twitch safe? No. Uh, it's rated M, so surely, but also, no, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about it. Um, it just seemed appropriate 
for uh, Tis the Season. Infernal Bard, thank you for the 35 months. Oh, wow. <laughs> Infirmities. Okay, that's all I got. That's all I got. Uh, I really enjoyed Nancy Drew. Thanks for everyone uh, showing up for Nancy Drew. Uh, the VOD watchers are uh, quite enjoying Nancy Drew, and I appreciate that as well. <laughs> Yabos. Yabos are my favorite name for boobies. Thanks, uh, Hocus Pocus. Tis the season for Yabos. Okay, let's see how far we can get. Um, starting a little late because I had to uh, do lawn care, listen to a book, and do book club. Mm, what a hamburger. Uh, but uh, let's see how far we can get in uh, goth, goth hose. Got, got hose? Don't blame Cassie. I blame Cassie for all of my uh, shortcomings in life. History, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Ian, I've been watching you for years since your Lunchables video and finally caught a stream. Have you considered playing Baldur's Gate like the OG one? I haven't. Not really my genre. Maybe I would like it. Um, I think longtime viewers would probably be able to tell me if I would like it or not. Uh, it doesn't seem like something that I would enjoy. But I don't know. Maybe the older version is good. Not really a medieval fantasy kind of guy where micro forum yeah okay i'm gonna read these and then we're gonna play all right don't think it's a me game that's kind of that that's kind of what i'm thinking uh electric horizon thank you for the five months hey ian glad to catch a spooky stream recently rewatched your nancy stream ghost uh ghost dogs of moon lake i'm assuming ghost of the moon do we all remember hal Thanks for the laughs. I don't remember how. Uh, once I finish a game, I immediately like delete all knowledge of it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I only got so much storage up here. Hot Dog Sweet, thank you for the 10 months. Tis the, tis the season for gothy yabos. Tis. Mm, what a hamburger. Tis. D&D is high fantasy, not medieval fantasy. See, I don't know the difference. To me, high fantasy and medieval fantasy are, are the same thing. I don't know. That's how not my area of expertise it is. Tits the season? Oh, wow. Tits the season for gothy yabos. Awooga. <laughs> Is that loud? This seems very loud to me. Is this loud? How's that? Uh... It's whisper quiet. Okay, let me know. Let me know if you can hear everything. Uh, what should I get from Domino's? I actually had Domino's for lunch today. <laughs> uh, you should get pizza, definitely. Claire Ella, 28, thank you for the three months. Let's select an avatar first. Oh, that looks like me. Uh... Okay, well, I think I'm going to choose this one. Oh, there's more. That looks like me. That looks kind of like me. It definitely looks like me. Uh, I think I want to go with this guy and his weirdly, like, tiny mouth. <laughs> Why does his mouth look like that? Mm, what a hamburger. Yeah, I'm going to be tiny mouth. Tiny mouth, Mr. Chin, you know, whatever you want to call him. I'm Ravenheart. Thank you for the four months. Okay, let's see what let's see what this is all about. Volume, by the way. There I am. Greetings, progeny. As elder of our coven, 
I have summoned you here to appoint you with a task of urgent matter. You are the only one I trust who could attempt such a quest. I need you to find out what is going on in Gothos that would cause the other vampire clans to send emissaries to the city. One rumor that has come to my attention is that a powerful artifact has been recently discovered by some mortal. Some of us elders believe it to be the lost Scrolls of the First Blood. If that is so, we cannot allow our rivals to gain possession of them, for in legend they contain a great power over all of our kind. You must leave for Gothos at once, but before you do, remember, choose your allies carefully, and your enemies more so. For none of our coven will be able to help unless we start a war with Gareth. Mm. Gothos is under Gareth's control. And last, beware the deceiver. Of all vampire kind, his heart is the blackest. If these are indeed the scrolls that have surfaced, the deceiver will stop at nothing to have them in his possession. Go now, my child, before the night is up. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I loved that. Ooh. Okay, here I am. Uh, it's the Gothos Times. Multiple murders strike city. The fifth victim was claimed last night in what police are now claiming to be the work of a serial killer. Detective Thomas Grant of the Gothos PD Homicide Division is advising people to stay off the streets after dark and to travel in public places. Oh my god, the circus is coming! <laughs> <laughs> Deputy Mayor... Uh, Charged in club raid at City Hall. Members shocked and outraged with last night's arrest of Deputy Mayor Carl Flo Flossbaum during a routine raid at the Back Door Club. <laughs> the Back Door Club. We're screaming for his resignation. The club, a local transvestite haunt, reported that the Deputy Mayor was a regular and generous tipper for years. Flossbaum dressed only in a red lace teddy, a fluffy boa, and high-heeled slippers, had tried to escape through the fire exit when he and 35 others were nailed for after-hours drinking. A statement prepared by the mayor's office said, a thorough, a th a thorough inquiry, inquiry will be conducted into this matter and appropriate actions will be taken. Flossbaum was seen leaving the Gothos Police Department early this morning wearing only a trench coat and parolman shoes. His only comment was that it was all a mistake and he took it upon himself to go undercover to expose those, these sort of establishments. Sure. Sure. By the way, did you know that the circus is coming? <laughs> oh, it's the power to be my best. Uh, continue from front page. That's, that's this. Okay, so we're jumping back to this story here about murders striking the city. Grant, an 11-year veteran of homicide, denies reports that the killings were connected to vampires. A confirmed source within Gothos PD told this reporter that he had never seen anything like this before. He went on to describe that each victim was drained of all its blood and had two puncture wounds in the neck. Hmm, what could that be? Hmm. Detective Grant refuted these claims adamantly and went on to say that he intends to reprimand the individual responsible for starting this wild and unsubstantiated rumor. You might as well say that the Tooth Fairy killed these people because, like the Tooth Fairy, vampires do not exist. Believe me, this is the work of one or more demented souls, and we are doing everything in our power to put an end to this madness, Detective Grant said at an afternoon press conference. Uh, World-renowned archaeologist Dr. Byron... Oh, is this... 
Is this from this? Yeah. This guy is uh, has made an incredible discovery. World-renowned archaeologist Dr. Byron Smythe, Smythe announced he made a recent discovery on a dig in France that he expects will change history as we know it. Smythe is expected to address the scientific community early next week at a press conference to be held at the Museum of Gothos. Yeah, he's going to live that long for sure. Okay. Let's see here. So I've got like a... Ooh, I can bite? I can die? Oh, no, that's my inventory. I thought that was going to be like my... Uh, uh, my my coffin. Who am I going to bite? Am I a vampire? I'm going to bite this rat. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to... Ooh. W... C? C? What is with the... Uh... Or is that an E? Is that supposed to be East, West... Okay, that's east. Okay. I can't do anything with the rat. Ah, a newcomer. Welcome to Gothos. Are you here to join this evening's hunt? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure am. Uh, C. Uh, what do you think this lady wants? She probably just wants a nice little chat, right? That's that's the look of a lady that just wants a nice little chat. <laughs> hey, sugar, you interested in some company? Yeah, see, like what, like I said. So, can I not respond? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Wait a minute. Shit yeah. for me, baby. <laughs> Hey, honey. Why don't we go over to my private office and discuss some business? Oh my god, I went full of wooga over here. <laughs> Wait, how do I? I want to go back and reply to that other guy. Oh my god. <laughs> how much could it possibly be? Come on, sugar. Don't be shy. You promise you won't laugh? <laughs> follow me. It's not very far. Follow, follow me. Oh. Okay, sugar. Before we close this deal, show me some money. I don't I don't think I have any. Here, I'll do this. I don't have no stinking money. <laughs> Look, don't waste my time. Don't be so pushy. I'm looking for it. The money? Oh my god, biter. I don't think I... Oh! <coughs> oh, I can pick her up. Oh, I got a dollar. Okay, okay. I'm sold on this game. I'm so... I can... I can do... Conversation interactions just based on my expression. Dude, I'm fucking rich. Well, the irony is that I can pay for it now. Oh, yeah, just keep taking her money. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got some little soldier condoms. <laughs> and a super pimp. A super pimp. Super Pimp is calling. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I'm very lost as to, like, where I am or or what I'm really doing. Uh, but that's fine. Maybe it's not important. Okay. Am I just, like, on the prowl? Hmm. 
We're all going to the hotel. What do you think? Left or right? Or I guess we could do middle, too. Let's go in here. It looks like I have a health bar. Oh, locked. It's locked. It's locked. Is that a person? No. Duck into the alley. This guy came at me, right? And it was just, he comes after me and I threw him down, right? And, uh, yeah. I, I was like punching him, man, man, punching him, man. Someone's coming. Excuse me. Excuse me. I was listening to a story about my friend punching. Uh. Excuse me. My friend and I were wondering if you could um, help us out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, help us out a little. <laughs> out of my face, you waste of skin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't phrase that correctly. Me and my friends here would like you to help us out. A lot. Very, <laughs> he's really selling the in intimidating uh, thugs here. That's what you get, bitch. Dude, I'm so rich. I'm Oh, did he have a super pimp too? Was that a super pimp watch? Am I getting this money? Oh, I have to click it. I think I got to click it to get the money. Okay. It doesn't really tell me what these items are. Where'd the other guy go? Here. Now I can't, I don't think I can take the gun, which you think I, maybe I don't need it. Maybe I'm just so cool I don't need the gun. Bite gun? I don't think that's gonna work. I wanna find the other guy. Oh, ghost. What once was will come to be. The four together will be the key. Huh? From the circle, at the toll of three bells, the fallen angel will return from hell. Huh? Dude, lady, I didn't understand that. Hey, whoa, dude. Chill with that. Chill with that. Can I touch that? It doesn't seem like a good idea for me to... What does that say? I po... I po... Quit... Yod. Yeah, the audio's peaking. I don't think it's... Uh, I think it's the recording. I don't think it's actually the... Uh, the voiceover, but I can still turn it down if you guys think it's a little loud. Well, I have whatever the fuck that is. Seems like something that I should not have, honestly. Okay. Ooh, can I get on a boat? I really have no direction. I really am just kind of wandering. Ooh. So you're going to buy or not? Yeah, man. I'm hurting really bad. You have it? You got the money? Yeah. Well, I got the stuff. Classic! Oh, thanks, man. Come back anytime. You know where to find me. Yeah. Bye. I want some stuff. What are you looking at? You looking to make a buy? Yes. Yes, I am. I got the cash. Yeah, man. <laughs> no credit. Strictly currency. 
Know what I'm saying? I got money. Money is no object. Okay. Let's see your coin. Can I owe it to you? I'm good for it. Honest. No, no, I got money. If you're not a paying customer, don't waste my time. Okay, he said... Oh, fuck. I wanted to buy, dude. I had it. I want the drugs. Give me the drugs. Okay. Uh, I think I dead ended there. I don't think I can go any way any further. This guy's still dead. He'll, he could be fine though. Let's go towards the sirens. Bain International. Uh, just a vampire out on the prowl. Uh, can I go anywhere here? Where are we? All right there, right there by that X there. That's not an X, that's spaghetti sauce. Get, that's, get it off. That's an X there, right there. No, it's not. Yes, we just come down this street here, we're right there now. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Vote now. Was it an X or was it spaghetti sauce? Could you tell me where Main Street is? Uh... <sighs> Go stuff yourself. Oh, you don't know that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wine, wine, wine. No wonder they call you wine. You never take me anywhere. You're always talking to strangers. You never have time for me. Yeah. You're always gone. Oh, Here, I Here I come. Here I come. Ah! <laughs> Bye, dude. I was so fucking amazing. <laughs> 101 things to do in Gotho City. <laughs> Can I buy you a beer? Dude, I have no idea what's going on. I'm, I'm just a vampire roaming the streets, biting people. I have no clue. Okay. Well, another one down. I feel like I should save. A lot is happening right now. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Now what do I do? I would love some direction. As as fun as it is wandering around, I don't know. Oh. Okay. I'm already at disc 2. So was my blood meter filling up that whole time? I thought it was uh I thought it was a health meter. But I think it went up as I was biting people. There's three discs. It's oh, thirst. Wow. Okay, so as it goes down, uh, I need more blood, I suppose. Oops. Okay, good to know. Come on, baby. I'm going to want to play this every Halloween. Okay, where do I go? Oh, shit! Let's see here. Anybody around? Yeah, I'm already on disc two, but it could just be location based. I might walk between the discs. Uh, I really don't know because I really, I still don't know what's going on. I'm just kind of going around murdering. Oh, here we go. Theater. Is this a mime? Oh boy, a mime. Ooh. 
Okay. This is very strong, strong mime. Pretty strong, yeah. There's no way this girl went to mime college. I mean, good effort, but uh, you can't get a degree in miming if this is uh You've got a bad case of gas? <laughs> okay. She's like pulling a rope. Of some sort. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say I like that one. You're fishing? Yep, you're trying. Oh my god. This is a ter this is a terrible. <laughs> Okay, it changed my mind. This mime is great. This mime is great. <laughs> um, I feel like I shouldn't be biting every... Like, if I need to save them, you know? How about I just... Why don't, why don't we try, like... Have, like, 25 cents. I can't use that here. Oh. Well, then we got a biter. <laughs> Oh shit, I lost I lost like a fourth of my a third of my health or my my thirst. It didn't work. Oh my god. Oh, she's alive again? She just mimed being dead. Oh boy, a mime. Okay, okay. I'm out of here. Out of here. Welcome to the museum of. See some serious coinage the museum here. Is closed right now. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. I didn't hear a fucking word this guy said. Bum, 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 bum. Burger, she wrote. Thank you so much for the $15. It uh, says for drugs. Ooh. I'll use it if I ever get the chance. Thank you. Thank you so much, Burger, she wrote. see anybody to terrorize here oh here we go we just received this new acquisition from Eastern Europe are you interested in mythology sure there's much to be learned from the gods that once ruled the earth it is quite something isn't it each artifact is accompanied by a fantastic tale. But I must admit, I do find most of them quite amusing. The truth is found in their lies. You actually believe in the supernatural? Yes. Well, I have to admit, you do look a little dark. Here I come. <laughs> What do you mean stop? I'm a vampire. I'm I'm created to kill. Okay. Okay. Now where? We'll never find out what we have to do. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, she's gone. 
How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Let me out of here. Oh my god. Was that it? Was that all I'm here to do? Well, that was fun. It was a good uh, museum. We might we might not figure out what we're doing until it's too late on this first attempt, but that's that's fine. I was here before. Really hard to navigate. Uh, this girl keeps coming back. Mime's got to be important at some point. No, no, no. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, good skill, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's frozen. Can I not talk to him? There might only be one option. Oh, he's gone. Oh, you just barely escaped. <laughs> you just barely escaped. Okay. Okay. East, 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 west. Uh, west, south, east, west, maybe? Okay. Back to this. Yeah, see, we can go back to disc one. Yeah, the compass is very confusing. I definitely don't know where I'm going. Like, beyond the fact that I don't know what I'm doing, I have no idea where I am or where I've been. Skull Pirate Mike, thank you for the 64 months. Parzifal, thank you for the 26 months. I think that dude is using a voice box. No, this is all unedited audio for sure. Uh, Banana Ham Cox, thank you for the seven months. And Space Gray 64, thank you for subscribing. Did it come with a manual? That's a good question. I don't think so. No. Uh, it says, descend into the world of Gothos and become the vampire in this mythical tale of murder and deceit. So... I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Oh, my God. I wish I could go back. This is going to happen a lot. Can I put both discs in at once? I'll try next time. I'll try next time. It will. This will give me a good reference point. I'll be like, oh, okay, this is where the, the disc change... Okay, so I already went down there. Haven't gone this way. Oh, wait, no. I have gone that way. I haven't gone this way. Okay, I won't kill this lady, like, immediately. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. I just got off work and my friends are picking me up any minute. Well, time to die. Well, it was nice talking to you. There's this big bash at this club. I've got to get home and get ready. I've got VIP passes from the owner himself. Ooh, on you currently? Is that something I could take? You must be very special then. There they are. Hey, guys! Ah, oh, missed my chance, dude. This whole don't kill people immediately thing is 
not working. It's not working. Okay, I'm going backwards, I think, to go. Listen to Jonas. Be warned. Be warned. There is evil among us. The Jonas Brothers? You unworthy curs. You are not worthy to receive his almighty glory. The judgment hour comes, and the unbelievers will be punished. I think he's talking about the Jonas Brothers. You! Me! Jonas has words for you. Lend an ear, as the time is now upon us! Okay. Child, listen to me. The hour of darkness approaches as the false one is set to rain hell's fire and sulfur as brimstone down upon us. The world has lost its way and we are doomed, doomed. God left us to the fate that is upon us. Hear the tale now, child, so thou will know why thee will perish. I mean, I, I'll take any information at this point. Tell me more, demented one. Thank the gods, child. You heed my words. Well, I'll listen. For all think Jonas mad. Nothing more than a fool. But as I know, in my father, in his father before he, the prophecy. Do you believe? You haven't told me shit, dude. Sure, I believe. Prophecies do have a way of becoming truths. Then come take this book of ages dark. So you will know the truth of what was. Okay. And what is yet to be. Okay, I get a book out of this? I have no need for it. As we are all doomed before this night ends. Book of the Lore. Well, that's uh, very on the nose. Prophecy of the Brethren by uh, the first Jonas brother. In the time before the Great Renaissance, there were 12 monks who lived in Eastern Europe in virtual isolation. They were 12 dedicated and righteous men who served the Lord with unquestionable faith. They numbered 12, but in essence, they were one collective conscious of worship. Their only failings were their humanity and their susceptibility to human foibles. Oh my God, so many words in the font, dude. Their elderly hierarch, Brother Leon, was fanatical about spreading the gospel of God to all the sinners of the world. Brother Marius feared the wrath of God to the point of paranoia. Brother Vincent was the monastery's paradox, both loving the Lord and hating him in the same breath, for he believed that God was the reason he was an orphan. <laughs> Brother Theodore hid within his cloak and hood, concealing horrific uh, deformities caused by a curse from a revenant. The most curious of the twelve was Brother Jaxel? Jackal? Jaxel? A young rebellious monk who questioned every spiritual answer. Brother Jeers was the flock's provider of food and spirit. Do I have to know every single? There's fucking twelve of them, dude. The cynic was Brother Sebastian, who would, ba 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 ba, I'm not gonna remember any of this shit, uh, who would vehemently argue with Brother Leon on uh, pious matters. Brother Boris was a rotund, jovial man who loved to laugh and was more often laughed at. Brother Andrew was the inventor and the daydreamer who would rather tinker than pray. Brother Michael was the devious schemer who believed he was destined to be the next hierarch. Brother Jonathan was the keeper of the books and the tireless scribe who wrote in many ancient languages. And finally, Brother Theodore was the troubled warrior uh, professing what that a great misfortune would beset all mankind. 
Oh, this is some very realistic illustrations here. Brother Theodore's prediction became a chilling reality as the Black Death swept over Europe in the 14th century, killing millions in its wake. The righteous monks were seemingly safe behind the stone walls and locked gate of the monastery, while the Black Plague spread like wildfire around them. Brother Leon forbid any sojourns outside the monastery and forbid visitations from the townspeople except for a stable boy that tended the monk's livestock. Mm -hmm. He had always been a favorite of the high arc mm -hmm, and was offered refuge from the sick and the sick and dying who fittered the village, the village's streets. Many nights, brother Leon went to the boy's room to comfort him. Mm hmm. There were rumors about the reasons for these visits. I bet there were. One morning, Brother Leon woke with a searing pain in his groin. Uh, the black death flowed in his body. He fell into a desperate state of despair, knowing he was being punished by God for not resisting the temptation of the flesh. He sequestered himself from the others. He was too ashamed to face them. He banished the stable boy from the monastery. As the days stretched into weeks, Brother Leon's absence became suspicious. The others no longer truly accepted his excuses. They, be they became concerned and prayed for guidance. On the first quarter of a new moon, a rap on the gate resonated throughout the monastery. A holy man from the east was seeking sanctuary. The brethren could barely contain their joy. Convinced this man from the Holy Land was a sign from the Lord. They ushered him to Brother Leon's door, hoping he could coax their hierarch from his locked chamber. The hierarch uh, bid them away. His body weak and ravaged by the plague, Brother Leon felt he must confess his sins uh, to this outsider before he succumbed to the Black Death. The outsider was bound by his faith to keep whatever he, whatever the hierarch told him a secret. The outsider from the east was warmly accepted by the others and affectionately became known as the 13th monk. He was summoned to the hierarch's chamber. Appearing before Brother Leon, he was unmoved by the hierarch's tearful confession. He seemed more repulsed than sympathetic and said nothing for a long while. Uh, finally, the mysterious holy man from the east spoke in a deep, forceful voice. Your God has forsaken you, and he has cursed you to die. If you are to find redemption, you must give your soul over to a new God. Uh, one you could find favor with to save you from your inevitable, painful death. Holy shit, dude. The hierarch was shocked. He chastised the holy man from the east for his blasphemous tongue, proclaimed he was a heretic, and demanded he leave his chamber at once. The 13th monk laughed and spat on the floor in disgust. He bitterly said, I offer you salvation. What does it matter from where it originates? You must act quickly, for your time on earth is short. I fear you will not last the night. Brother Leon lay weeping on the floor for hours, breaking into uncontrollable, uncontrollable sobs. The, the thir 13th monk sat motionless in his chair, observing this pathetic spectacle. With his last breath, the hierarch looked up to the holy man from the east and, like a wretched beggar, held out his hand. Uh, I can take this suffering no longer. Make it stop. I am your slave. Uh, please, heretic, uh, what do you ask of me, he pleaded. The heretic smiled like the devil himself and said, There is a great power that is as old as heaven and hell. I have on my person scriptures, four scrolls that will set this power free, a power unlike any the world has ever seen. And those who free the master of this power, they will bask in its spectacular glory. The hierarch felt the fate of the world weighing on his slumping shoulders. If he agreed to the heretic's demands... He knew they would be summoning forth a demon far worse than any black plague. Either way, I'm damned to hell. Uh, proceed, heretic, he shouted, damning himself and mankind for all time. Well, that's kind of a dick move. 
The 13th monk rose, kissed the startled hierarch on his neck, and cured him of his incurable disease. He then told him of a ritual that he and all the other monks must perform the following night. He then left a chill through Brother Leon's body that brought him to his knees. A, or a chill ran... Yeah. Oh, how many pages is this book, dude? The 13th monk ventured into the village to hunt for a potential sacrifice taking on the appearance of the young stable boy who had long been dead, he roamed the street. This deceiver of men needed a chaste virgin for the ritual he was to perform the next evening in the monastery. He approached a young orphan girl named Genevieve and with his charm lured her back to the monastery. While the brethren slept, he... Drew, he drew, these D's look like S's to me, uh, for real. He drew a knife across her throat, killing her instantly. The deceiver then ceremoniously filled a glass vessel with her warm blood while muttering in a language unspoken for centuries. Afterwards, he buried the chaste virgin's body under the stable's compost heap. That morning, the hierarch received the other monks in his chambers for the first time in weeks. He lied to them about his spiritual meditation and told them how he had prayed for the arrival of the 13th monk. He then informed them that there would be a special service that evening led by the newest member of their fold. The brethren found this odd, but did not question the words of their leader for to serve him was to serve God. Oh my God. Blah 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 be ba ba be ba 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 be ba 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 be ba ba be ba 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 be as the years turned into centuries the brethren parted ways some went mad some rebelled against the unfair judgment passed on to them others accepted their fate and some still search for the four scrolls to unleash a power the likes of which the world has never been witness to <laughs> Oh my god you really want me to read this Dude Ugh. I hate reading! At the toll of two bells, the monks rose from their slumber and congregated in the chapel. There, they were greeted by a, a peculiar and disturbing sight. Before the Lord's altar was a circle of red formed from what they presumed was blood. Uh, the deceiver in the form of the 13th monk greeted one and all instructed them to form a circle within the red ring. Reluctant to do so, the monk looked to their hierarch for guidance. I hope you guys are uh, retaining this, because I can't really read aloud and retain at the same time. God is worshipped in different ways within each culture. Do what our brother asks, for it is God's will, the hierarch said reassuringly. One by one, the monks entered the circle, their heads tilted towards the ground as if not wanting to see what was awaiting them. Their ears were soon filled with a strange chant emanating from the deceiver. With burning red eyes, the deceiver knelt in front of the chapel's altar and shouted uh, repeatedly as if to be mocking the Lord himself. I sure wish I was biting someone right now. Leaping up to his feet... He snatched the altar's gold goblet and filled it with the chaste virgin's blood poured from the glass vessel. He then moved to the center of the red circle and ordered the monks to drink from the goblet. Uh, blindingly, they obeyed. From beneath his cloak, the deceiver produced the four scrolls he had talked about to Brother Leon and placed them within the circle. Suddenly, the room became darker. The sharp, pungent smell of brimstone filled the air. And smoke rose from the center of the circle. The monks, overcome by fear and panic, dropped to their knees. The deceiver held out, held his outstretched arms high over his head, welcoming the ominous figure raising from the smoke like a phoenix from the ashes. Welcome, Lord of Darkness. I'm yours to command, he exclaimed. And as the smoke began to clear, the terrified monks could see a hideous, great beast that seemed to embody all that was evil in this world. With cloven hooves, the beast stepped to the edge of the circle, momentarily hesitating to enter the mortal world. Without warning, a blinding flash of white light filled the chapel. 
A light so intense it blinded all who did not shield their eyes. Oh, you can hear the hate. Should I read? I'll I'll read it with less hate. I'm so bored. With the with the roar of a thousand thunders, the beast collapsed to it and to its callous knees and was swallowed by the earth whole. From beneath the chapel's floor, it spoke, hissing madly. Uh, Infidels, heed my words. Do not think you can banish me forever. I will rise again to walk among your master's precious mankind, recruiting many for my army of darkness. I swear this to you. I will break this binding spell. The angel of the Lord looked around the desecrated chapel and spoke to the cowering monks. You have disgraced this house of my master. You have acted with the blood lust of feral beasts and betrayed your faith. There is no greater offense to kill each and every one of you a thousand times would not bring justice to your crimes. Your souls are banished from heaven and are so deemed to walk the earth for eternity. You will be loathed and feared as murderous jackals of the night, constant reminders to others who betray God's faith. Go, jackals, into the dark, for you may no longer walk in the light of the Lord. Go, you are forbidden to be in the house of the Lord forever. Brother Leon, blind and trembling, rose from his knees and approached the angel. He says, These are the actions of my misguided brethren. I had no knowledge of this. Punish them, not the one who is innocent. Take me, I beg of thee. With an anguished cry, the enraged angel began to destroy the chapel. The twelve monks fled for their lives. The ground began to tremble. Screaming, they ran through the crumbling monastery's gate. The twelve of them huddled together in the black night and witnessed their monastery being swallowed up by the very earth itself. The whereabouts of the holy man from the east was the least of their concerns. As the years turned into centuries, the brethren parted ways. Some went mad. Some rebelled against the unfair judgment passed on to them. Others accepted their fate. And some still search for the four scrolls to unleash a power, the likes of which the world has never been witness to. Jeez. Evil will prevail. Oh, I didn't get to bite him. Well, I hope that was worth it. <laughs> I don't know if it, it will be. Thank you for motivating me to complete it. It wasn't as long as it seemed. It was just mostly as long as it's spaced out. Can you start over? I tuned out too, it's fine. I don't know really what I read. Somewhere Flying donated $10 and says, Thank you for story time with Ian. Thank you so much, Somewhere Flying. Zareneth, thank you for resubscribing for four months. Uh, I will not be able to shake this voice for the remainder of the stream. Oh, fuck yes. Well, I hope there's not going to be a lineup or anything. Did you guys bring your passes? Awooga! Oh. Mm -hmm. Can we help you with something? Yeah. Perhaps the four of us, you know, could uh, get together. <laughs> yeah, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I think we could all become very, very close. <laughs> In your dreams, let's go so we can get- <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> ah, no, no, don't bite me, no. <laughs> Mine? Mine. Mine. Is that supposed to be their shoes? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Hold on, let me save. 
Okay, I'm back in it. Back in it. Done with the boring reading. Uh, yes, rated M for, for reminder. Rated mature for animated blood and animated violence. Well, I want to find out where, like, this show is. There's some type of show. Somewhere. I'm just walking back. Oh, it's got to be here at the Screaming Cathedral. I'm Minota. Thank you so much for the 87 months. Good to see you. And Gothic Novella, thank you for the 61 months. Wow, this guy does not care about the masquerade at all. <laughs> Oh, CD3 if I go there. I'm going to wait on CD3. I want to go into the Screaming Cathedral first. It's 10 credits for cover tonight. I think I got that. Okay, go on in. Thank you. Oh... My God. Okay, how do I... I want to talk to these people. Uh... Pardon me. I was wondering if you could spare a few moments to answer some questions. Walked up to the sexiest person in the club right away. <laughs> No. Piss off. We'd appreciate some cooperation. Detective Thomas Grant, Gothos PD. Homicide. Oh, I'm the cooperative sort. We're investigating a series. I guess I can just leave. In every case, we found the victims with critical wounds to the neck and severe blood loss. We believe this could be the work of a psychopath. I feel like I can't bite anyone in the club. They're going to see. Seen anyone strange around here lately? You. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Okay, stupid question. I mean, anyone or anything out of the ordinary... Even for a place like this. <sighs> Although I can't imagine what that could possibly be. Fuck off, bro. Think harder. Look, smartass. <laughs> I'm in no mood to be jerked around here. You're I in the right club to get jerked around. I fire every night and a lard ass mare breathing down my neck. He probably would have a problem with all of this if the stiffs weren't registered voters. So I'm going to ask you one last time nicely. Have you seen or heard anything connected with what's been going down? I heard something about going down, jerking, and stiffs. I don't really know what he's, what he's talking about here. No, not at all. What are you doing? Grant here. I want to bite. I'm just a few blocks away. Where oh, he's he leaving. Then? He's leaving. Okay. Okay, I, I should be there first. Just don't let the press get hold of it. Yeah, we have enough problems. Yeah. And get Smith from Forensic on it. Yeah, I'll see you there. Don't let the press know about this, okay? All right, I, I think it's not a good idea to uh, bite anybody where, like, everybody can see. Oh, my God. I fucking love it. I wish I could talk to all these people. Uh. Oh... Well, well, well. Wow. Another child of the night. Yeah, oh wow, that's what I was going to say. I felt your presence as soon as you entered my club. Did you care to sit down and join our little party? This guy okay? 
Uh, yeah, I'll sit down, sure. Woohoo! <laughs> Forgive me how crass I've been. Let me introduce you to my friends. This is Cindy. Say hello, Cindy. Mm. Woohoo! <laughs> That's Dylan. Please don't ask him to get up. He's found the evening rather a draining experience. Kids these days. Oh, um, this is... Let's just call her dinner. Ah! <laughs> I almost forgot. Who are you? I have no idea, dude. I really don't know. Soon you'll never forget. Well, I'm honored by your presence. And would you mind if I raised a little toast to our future friendship? Mm. Mm. Uh, I feel like I'm full, but sure. I'm flattered. You know, I like you. I really, really like you. And not in a funny way. In a <laughs> kind of a friend who would help someone else. Sure. No homo, bro. Pinch me if I'm dreaming, but doesn't it sound like you? Yeah, I'm totally no homo, too. I'm totally. By your flawless <laughs> judge of character. All right. <laughs> Let's hear it for our new friend. <laughs> These two are really beginning to annoy me. Well, now that you're on the team, oh, wow. can you keep a secret? I'm on a team now? Even if they killed me a hundred times over, I would not talk. You see, not all of our kind are as cool as us. Some think we shouldn't be out and about playing around. Out and about? We should be part of our misery like sick dogs. That's why they've come to town. But we can stop them. Interested? You know, I don't think anyone would ever suspect him. You know, he's a very undercover-looking vampire, you know? How come I was getting grilled by the detective and this guy was not getting grilled by the detective? Death to the whiners. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> into having a good time with your undead ass waltz into the bar. Let me bring you up to speed. Ever since my cohorts and I got news of a find that some old fart archaeologist had unearthed, there's been a lot going down. An unusual number of progeny have assembled in town, and they're not mine. They're here for the squirrels. They might have gotten to them first, but they vanished. So there's to be a war, and I plan to be on the side of victory. You find the scrolls and bring them to me, and I'll grant you sanctuary and full power in my coven. What do you say? I mean, I'll say yes, but there's no fucking way I'm bringing this dude any scrolls. Let's get ready to rumble! Classic vampire line. Great. Well, don't just stand there. Time's a wasting. And by the way, if you have a chance, why don't you stop by a little soiree I'm throwing later? Evening dress mandatory. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must go and prepare dinner. See you later. Come along, girls. Time to go. <laughs> okay, well, that was great. I love that this background here, it looks like... Just some random ass store. There's like a dude standing there. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we made a friend. Uh, clearly, we want the. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we clearly want the scrolls for some reason. Oh, what's this guy's story? Look at this place. <laughs> what the hell is going on around here? I have no idea, dude. Little people playing their little dress-up games. I come in here for a drink. Uh -huh. Instead, get a damn freak show. Yeah. 
dude, your gloves say that you belong here, man. The, the gloves are like, yeah, sure. I totally just wandered in here accidentally. I'm looking at the only freak I see. Ooh. Don't mind me, my friend. I'll be out of the city soon enough. Lying on a beach down south without another worry in the world. Is he drinking a Yoo-Hoo? I hope so. I like the weird in-between faces I can make where it's like I'm not quite this, but I'm not quite this either. I'm more like this. We'll meet again. Perhaps we'll play some shuffleboard. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Life is too short not to take risks. I took one and it paid off big time. Does he, he got one of the scrolls. He's got one of the scrolls. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. How's everything up front? Yeah, okay. Everything's mm -hmm. good back here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. This is the back door. If you want to get in, you have to get in through the front like everybody else. I favor coming in from behind. Whoa! Beat it! Boing! And believe me, you don't want to meet Ludo. Believe me, he won't want to meet me. You asked for it. Ludo! Oh, I can't wait to meet Ludo. Oh, his gloves, he's got even spike. Oh, fuck. The fuck was that? Oh, no, I'm so hungry now. This is the back door. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit. No, he didn't like... Oh, fuck. Okay, he was like a vampire man. I thought I could just slide in and uh, get a quick meal there. Choosing these dialogues option... Am I choosing them or are they random? Okay, I guess I didn't really totally explain. I'm making it a facial expression. I can make like a happy face or a sad face or like a middle face. And that's... Uh, that dictates the the reaction I make, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I think I can be happy about what they say. I'll save again, yeah. Or uh, I should do like different. Yeah, mid face. It is a really interesting mechanic for sure. Uh, but I definitely need to feed. Hello, where the fuck am I? Hello? Anybody wanna die? Anybody wanna die? Oh. This lady's protected. Theater One, Night of the Walking Dead, that's one credit. Okay, I can do that. Thanks. You'll love the movie. Enjoy. Oh, I'll get to see a movie? Run, girl! Fucking move! There you go. Ah! Great forest footsteps. Nice.
not fast enough. I love this game. I really hated reading, but everything else I really enjoyed. <laughs> really enjoyed. Uh, I really need someone to eat, though. Anybody wandering the streets? Merlin's Occult Shop. Greetings. Welcome to Merlin's. If curiosity is what you seek, feel free to take a peek. I just need to take a leak. A public restroom is what I seek. Uh... Oh my god, you can see the guy taking a picture! You can see the guy taking the picture! Ah! Uh, okay, I don't think I see anything here. Can I just bite Merlin then? I mean... Oh, it's locked now. Fuck. Oh! On to disc three. Yeah, no scrolls. I don't even have a single scroll yet. Jelly Bean Kruger, thank you for the six months. I bet you that death resistant mime was the only was the one who ratted you out. How she can't talk? How's she gonna rat me out? She can't talk and she really can't mime very well either. Uh Catalytic Skies, thank you for the two months. And Rain Dog 2020, thank you for the eleven months. Hi, vampire Ian. I reset my Twitch password again to share my subversary. Hope your days are spooky and mold free. Thank you so much, Rain Dog 2020. Okay. I need to feed. Show me a person. Where are you people? come from there? It's really hard for me to know where from from whence I came. Oh, that's a very realistic looking laptop. Uh, as stressed before, I'm not interested in selling the scrolls. Please withhold your childish attempts at imitation since uh, you know the letter I'm talking about, sir. They are wasted efforts on your part. If your client is seeking to possess this artifact that badly, he can bloody well go find his own. That was to the professor? Or from the professor? Package obtained, sent for pickup. In money transfer. Installment needed before further action can be taken to obtain item in question. High risk factor in mid-transit attempt. Will wait for processing through customs in dockyard. Require extra money for proper incentive in order to motivate inside connection. Please advance funds to Cayman account. Okay, which... This is the oldest. Interesting. Well, that's it? There's nobody fucking... Did I just, like, invade someone's hotel room? Uh, they're not in there? I know, I need to... Oh, here we go. I can, I can bite this guy. I don't know how the fuck I got... Oh, anyway, I'm gonna bite him. What up, John Ham? May I help you? Indeed you may. Perhaps there's something in particular you're looking for. <laughs> Thanks for the help, brother. Gothos Museum of History. Phone numbers. He's the special. Oh. And I got a Bane and Associates. Maybe that's not him. Maybe he's just collecting business cards. 
Where the fuck? How do I leave the place I was in in the, a different alleyway? I really don't know. I really don't know where I am. I maybe killed the president. I don't know. How am I supposed to know that? Oh, here we go. Vampires only. House of Pain. This is this a trap? This kind of seems like a trap. I love the realistic spider there, though. Thank you so much for the 435 bits in it six. Yeah, these all look like vampires. Uh... Nothing, nothing to do in here. Okay. Thought I would at least get to talk to my vampire brethren. What up, Kazzy? Okay, I need a scroll. How do I get a scroll? Also, where am I? Give me your money. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Help me. Give me your money. What do you want? I just, I just want to watch. Help. No. What? You're still here? Oh my god, he's got a chain from his nose to his ear. What a cute little knife. I'm gonna cut your heart out. I'll show you mine if you'll show me yours. Boing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine, fine, fine. Was, I think the red lines, that was the animated violence that it got the, the M rating for. The Screaming Cathedral Club. Okay. I'm gonna puke. Yeah, look away if you're sensitive to violence, okay? It's a very, it's a very violent game. Very adult game. Death to all whiners. Or whatever. <laughs> whatever that line was. Uh... Okay, spooky house. Oh shit, I can I can bat fly up to the window. Hello there. Hello there. I love the hallway from a clearly completely different house in the doorway. Who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> what do you want? Really thought he was going to say, who the fuck are you? A chance to talk shop. Ah, you want to talk. Yeah. I suppose you just flew in through the window. Yep. You'd be disappointed if I hadn't, huh? So, let us suppose that you are indeed a vampire. It'll take more than your gothic attire and false air of confidence to convince me. Fine, bro. I mean... So what now? I mean... I suppose you'll offer to show me proof of your outrageous claim. I mean, he's kind of asking for it. Uh... Right? I mean, he's kind of asking for it. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that could have been avoided. The Key to Greater Knowledge by I.B. Haydn. Patience and persistence is the key. Thanks, I.B. Hayden. Vampire. Uh, name of species, country, birth. The Vampire Ninja. He is described in Japanese folklore as an ageless, horrible, rotting body that moves with the grace and quickness of a dancer. Okay. 
So I can come here for vampire knowledge, I guess. The Black Plague. I already read about the Black Plague, dude. I want to read about that shit again. The legend of Dracula, the man behind the myth. I'm not really that Vlad. Blah, 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 Dracula. Blah, 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 Dracula. Witchcraft. Blah, 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 witchcraft. Blah, 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 witchcraft. The books, honestly, they're really not that long. They only let me read like a page. Uh, I'm just going to assume you guys were able to read it in the brief time that I was flipping through. So just let me know if there's anything important in those books. <laughs> you should read all of them. Oh my God. I mean, I'll read if you guys want me, really want me to read. Oh, it's the Nancy Drew puzzle. Oh. I could have missed something. It's true. I'll read this. How about, how about that? I don't know what the fuck <laughs> that is. Um... Fine, I'll read the fucking books. I'll be a good gamer. The Black Plague, the 14th century, will always be remembered in history as one of the most cataclysmic epochs of Western civilizations. Many events were responsible. The three most notable were the Papal Schism, the Hundred Years' War, and the Black Plague. The Black Plague claimed 20 million lives between 1348 and 1350. Approximately half the citizens of Paris, two-thirds of Bremen and Hamburg, and three-fourths of Florence died. So many died so quickly that in some European cities, the dead outnumbered the living. Is that it? I think that's it. Uh, I'd be hiding. The Legend of Dracula, the Man Behind the Myth. Chapter 1. I'm not really that Vlad. The character of the blood-sucking, infamous Dracula, immortalized by Bram Stoker, Stoker? <laughs> was based on an actual historical figure. Stroker's inspiration emanated from the life and times of Vlad Dracula III, a 15th century prince of Wallachia, a province of Romania. Wallachia is bordered to the north by Transylvania and Moldavia, to the east by the Black Sea, and to the south by Bulgaria. Handstroker? Witchcraft! Unhuman rite of gathering. The moon shall be in its first quarter. The ceremonial area shall be prepared with torches formed in a pentagram. An inverted rat shall be placed on the altar along with a dragon wand, a pointed stake, a mirror, and thirteen cloves of garlic. When all have gathered within the confines of the pentagram, the chefesh shall take up the pointed stake and shatter the reflected image of the moon and set the thirteen cloves, cloves of garlic afire. Together, all will chant, In this place of ritual, we call upon the undead, the ancient one that are among us to reveal the non-human dimensions of our souls, deliver us to evil. Not the most catchy chant. Vampir. Vampir. Name of... I'm not reading this one. I'm not reading this one. I'll finish the, the vampire nin ninja, though. After killing his victims, he snaps their corpses in two with his bare hands and then ravenously drinks their blood pouring from their broken bodies. The creature, also known as the Death Ninja, became the hero of feudal ninja assassins because of his killing prowess and immortality. Legends speak about how he calmly pulled arrows out from his body and treated mortal wounds as mere scratches. 
Although he lived for centuries, his flesh was slowly rotting away. Being in such an advanced state of decay, he had no eyelids, and exposed bones stuck out among his shreds of putrid skin, making his appearance all that more fearsome. The Death Ninja casts no reflection and cannot be photographed. Any exposure to sunlight results in his immediate destruction. He must rest each day underground, meditating in a reclined position. To destroy it, he must be resting and only a stake through his heart. With his immediate decapitation and his mouth stuffed with an uncooked rice will ensure his demise. How's that? That's a lot. That's a lot. Why don't you just be friends with the the Death Ninja or whatever? Ooh, nice little house. I will take whatever that is. It's an oil or a wine of sorts. Uncooked rice. Uh, okay, that'll probably be helpful eventually. Eventually! Mm. I cannot eat the chair. Okay, that was a pretty, uh... Oh my god, the power to be my best. The fucking Mac ads. Mac had to have, like, paid for this, right? That's the third or maybe fourth Mac? Uh, Apple that we've seen? I have no idea. Oh, let me see. I should be able to... I don't see anything about Apple on the box. Maybe it's just to be realistic. The M rating is for Mac. Okay, let me save. Oh, you can change. I could change who I am. You guys want to change who we are? See if we get different responses. I'm going to change to this lady. I almost picked this lady the first time. We can always come back if, it, uh, if we dislike the other vampires. Dude, I'm so lost, though. So far, biggest downside of the game is not knowing where I am. Am I heading south? Should I be heading south? Is this like a goth dust? Not really. Dust was definitely easier to navigate. Uh, Weast? No, been here. Was there nowhere? Can I not go any further? I don't want to go back to the... I don't want to go back to the disc change unless I've explored everything. South, east, I can't go north. Yeah. East or east? When's the next fan mail Friday? I don't know. Whenever I get to it, eventually. Uh, let me out of here. Yeah, we we're the lady vampire. You can just switch. Um, you can just switch icons whenever. So we're just gonna try out this lady. See what uh, see what she's like. Oh my god. North. Yeah, sometimes you walk forward and then you have to choose the backward option to continue. For it's very confusing. Is that a booty? Nothing in here for me. I like the music though. Oh, here we go. 
What are you looking at? You? Prom or something? Yes. Oh, well, I was going to talk. Ah! Maybe, maybe she was just there to be eaten. I don't, I don't need to eat right now. Zandora's Psychic Cafe. Oh, a customer. So, what can I do for you today? Cappuccino, oh my God. Perhaps, or um, maybe you'd like to have your fortune told. We it's the nanny. Today. For every purchase that you do, you get a free psychic energy reading. You interested? Yeah. Knock yourself out. Oh, is that what we sound like? Good call. So that will be one tall, non-fat decaf cappuccino, right? Okay. That'll be one credit. Yes. Uh, Fran Drescher. She's in UHF, the nanny. Yeah, I think everyone's saying she sounds exactly the same. They say one credit? Okay, so you're the tall, non-fat decaf cappuccino, right? And I know you're just doing this for the complimentary psychic energy reading. It's going to be great. I know you'll love it. So why don't we go over to my table and we can proceed. Proceed? Let us proceed. Okay, so here's how it works, all right? Now you just go and put an object right over here, all right? Just put that in my hand. And I'm going to read the cosmic energies that are just emitting off of this thing, all right? And I'll tell you all about it. So go ahead. Go ahead. Just okay, right is here. she like a knowledge, knowledge base? What am I going to do with this thing? Hmm. Oh, is that one of the scrolls? I didn't realize it was a scroll. It's very crunchy. It's, <laughs> it's, um, again, it seems to be... Well, it's, it's made of a papyrus or some ancient. There's something uh, musty about this one. It's, um, yeah, it's, there's words on it, and um, I believe that insects wouldn't have a big chance around here. Okay, she's safe. She's not going to die. She, she gets to stay around. Uh, what about the little soldier condoms? I can't use that here. Oh. What about the wine? No, pour moi, you're too kind. Oh, what could this be? It's very cold. It's hard. It's, um, it seems to be a vessel containing some sort of, uh, I sense nectar. It's, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's got liquid. It's liquid <laughs> and I see the color red. No white, red, rosé. Um, but I, I sense you could be very, you could get very lucky with this. <laughs> I fucking love this lady. Uh, okay, what about, what about my pimp, uh, what was it called, Insta Pimp? I can't use that here. No. What about the, the watch? I can't use that here. What about the matchbook? Mm, oh, I sense heat. I sense a burning passion. Uh, no, actually, just burning. Yeah, I, I sense... I sense a strong, strong nicotine craving. And, um, I believe that I smell an arse... No, I smell an arson. I, I smell potential for danger. Something could be very dangerous. You've got to be extremely careful. But it could be good. It could be good. It's bright, it's warm, but it could be dangerous. Yeah, how does she know so much? Uh, okay. Cross? With this cross, the false one will fall. Let the Lord above have mercy on us all. Oh, man. I gotta switch to decaf. <laughs> I can't use that here. 
Ah, oh, what more do you want? I'm exhausted. I mean, you've sucked the psychic energy right out of me, okay? So really, I gotta go. I got a hot date, and you know, I gotta have a little energy left. So thanks for coming. Bye bye That's fair. That's fair. Oh, uh, well, I, I loved that. Um, I loved everything about that. I hope I get a mysterious item that I can come back here. We need to remember that she's in disc three. What up? Ah! Interesting evening, isn't it? Bugger off. <laughs> come, come. I won't bite you. Though I can't say half the other vampire in town won't try to do you in. Shut up! <laughs> There's a war about to start in Gothos, and newcomers are considered to be a threat. I would advise you to choose a side if you want protection. I choose not to choose. Quiet. You're being watched. If you care to know the truth, Meet me at the Strad Hotel, room 13. The Strad Hotel? Shut up is pretty good. You know, this might honestly be worth kind of like following a guide for on the next next time I play. Because I would like to progress the story. I just don't know that I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, is that, was that where I was? No, she's not here. Uh, well, how the fuck do I get to this hotel? Just looked at a review of this game. Apparently, there's a lot of unwinnable conditions. Yeah, I, it just gives me, it gives off the vibe that a guide, I might need a guide to get through, which uh, I would do for this. I definitely want to see more of it, but I'll see how far I can get on my own first. Mosesos, Mososo. Thank you for subscribing. I'm sure it was the riveting gameplay uh, that won you over. Would I do a full... I have no idea if I would do a video on this. Uh, I'm just enjoying playing it now. Who knows what the future holds? Oh my god. Go... At the very least, we'll, we'll want to play this, I'm assuming, next year. How can I not? Okay, maybe I need to... Well, how do I get to the fucking hotel? Do you think it's on this disc? Vampires only. It's not in the vampires only. Thanks so much, Jegs. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm stuck. How do I get out of this? Ah! I want to go back to... I want to go back to disc one. They really need a map. A map would be... Uh... Yeah, the mime is all the way in disc one. I'm trying to get out of this disc. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, I'm back here again. Where else am I supposed to go? Third icon, no, this is a, uh... no, it's just the main menu. Probably a map in the game box. Yeah. Maybe there was a guide in here that didn't come with this. This is one I, I definitely got mailed to me a, a long time ago. I had to clean the box because it was nasty. It had a mysterious brown 
And it was probably soda, honestly. Mysterious brown substance that I had to scrub. <laughs> I don't like that answer, Ben. I don't like that. God, let me out! Let me out! I need to get back to that 360 screen. I think that was, uh... Is it here? No. Okay, this is different. North, north. Okay. Let us go north. Yes, continue north. There we go. And see, now we're facing south. That's how it's so easy to get turned around because it just the directions are just all over the place. See, I, I don't think I've even been here before. Good evening. Do you have an invitation for tonight? Uh... Oh. Okay. Well, now I can't get in, dude. Yeah, what did she do? She dodge? Oh. Good evening. Do you have an invitation for tonight? I don't think that I do. I'm one of those fashionable party crashers you hear so much about. I'm sorry. If you don't have an invitation, you can't get in. Hmm. Oh. Oh, shit. You should kick those gang's butts last night, eh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you should kick those gang's butts last night, yeah? What's up, you freak? You going to a Halloween party? Teenagers? These guys are like 40. Yes, and I foresee that you'll be supplying the punch. You know, you can't just walk through here without paying the toll. We work very hard to keep these streets safe for people like you. We work very hard. Give us a little token of your appreciation. Why don't you give us a token? Oh my god, he does sound like Emo, emo, emo Phillips. <laughs> it was a gift from a dear departed. I'll tell you what. You give us your jacket, and we just might decide. Okay, I'm back here. Southwest. I don't want to go south. I'm trying to avoid. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I've gone in a loop. Oh no. North. I want to go north. North, please. Uh, fuck. You gotta pay the toll. We work so hard to keep the streets safe. Oh my god. Yeah, the number one bad thing about this, I would rather read a million books than get lost in this shit. Ugh. North, north, no. How do I keep ending up in the same place if I'm only heading north? South. We're going south. 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 Same place? Am I crazy? South. South. 
Oh no, not here again. South. South. Oh shit. North. North. Tab for map. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Well, no wonder I'm going in a fucking circle. Okay, I need to go east, east, east. Wait. Oh, no. Okay, no, I'm... South, south, south. I'm just facing east. Oh, my God. South, south, south. East. Now, have we been over here? Dare I go up there? And what's with this? What do you think? Should I try and get, like, up here? Or should I go back? I'm going to try and get up there. North. North. Okay, map does not work on this screen, so I think it's north. South. East. Okay. Let's go uh, east. Oh my god, it's so confusing because the compass is <laughs> it looks like this. The map looks like this. I'm going east. North. South, north, south, north or south. I can't go east. North. Good. Good. Very, very good. Okay. I'm going to try and go up here then. North, east, east. What the fuck? East. I need to go east. Northwest or southwest? East. Backwards. Oh my god, I'm, I found this too. Oh! Ring around the roses Pocket full of pearls Dude, that was, uh, informative. Opossum oh, Plays, thank you for gifting that sub. Thank you, thank you. Asha, Asha. Back to disc two. Oh, Possum Plays, thank you for the $6 and change. Shout out to Pocket Robot for the map info. Yes, thank you, thank you, Pocket Robot. Uh, makes a big difference. And thank you, thank you, Opossum Plays, for getting a sub and a little dono. Okay, where do I want to go? I want to go back in here real quick. Yeah, I do. I've been watching you. I bet you have. Them, aren't you? Yeah. Am I truly that obvious? Do you know how long I've been waiting around here for one of your kind? Finally, you're here. Leave me alone, you irritating gnat. <laughs> Gareth promised. You'd initiate me. 
Fuck that, dude. You don't have the guts for it. I'm not leaving here till I'm initiated. Gareth promised. Are you intimidated by me? Gareth promised. And then he leaves. I want to talk to that guy again. Oh, no, he's not here. I thought maybe it'd be time for his party or whatever. Here, let's, uh... Let's be this guy now. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I know I'm not messing around with her because uh, I need my blood meter. Um, Let's go north. East. I kind of want to go up here. North. Oh, I'm going back to disc one. Maybe the uh, mime has something for me. Can you use items on people? I, I think so, because I've been able to pay people with cash. Okay, Aura S. 6.35. Yes, I used a bunch of items at the Psychic Cafe. That's true. That's true. North. North. I'm going to keep going north, which, again, continues to change direction. North. South. Like, what the fuck is up here? West. South. Oh, wait. It was hidden. Ooh, I'm going into a church. Welcome, my child. Pardon my surprise, but it is so rare that we get visitors to our house of worship. It's kind of like Steve Carell doing a character. He's got a very Steve Carell. Father, my main man. A I prison mic. Many people have lost the way of the Lord in the past. This, this church had a large congregation. Now, all we get is some desperate people looking for last minute salvation or some poor drunk looking to get some warmth from the cold. I don't give a shit, dude. Ooh, I get pissed. I am beyond desperate. I must leave you now. There are matters of the cloth that I must attend to. But be careful on the streets. This city is not what it used to be. And it's going to get a lot worse. Did Michael Scott ever do, like, Ghost of Christmas Past or something? I feel like that's exactly what it would sound and look like. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how I'm in a church. I'm also carrying around a cross, so... You know. Oh, shit, where am I now? Oh my god, I love the <laughs> I love the horribly cut out trees here. Uh West Hmm. 
my god, the map is seriously necessary. I, I don't think I would have gotten anywhere. I would just be lost forever without the map. Since you, like, rotate directions so much, it would be so hard to, like, write it out on a, a graph paper or something. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's, I mean, that seems important. You guys remember that, okay? I don't have my notepad with me, so remember the O with the line through it and, like, the little sperm uh, symbol. With those symbols on my cross? Maybe? I can't read my cross. I can't use that here. I can't use it here. Oh, nice view, nice view. West. I want to go south now. Oh. What's up, best friend? I am prepared to tell the secrets of my prison house. What? I could tell a tale unfold. The lightest words that would harrow up my soul. What? Dude, it'd be such a bummer to meet a ghost and be able to tell that she's speaking English, but there's so much reverb, it's and you just can't understand her. A ghost visited me, and uh, she said a lot, but I'm not really... It's just too echoey for me to pick up, you know. Oh, I can I can be a bat. Oh shit. I just I just jumped the river or I batted across the river. Oh, I'm back to the start. I'm bat to the start. Okay. I did not expect this to be the starting area. How did I get out of here the first time? I don't remember becoming a bat. I must have. I must have, though. Uh, I want to go east. North, south. I don't understand. I really feel like sometimes it's not unless it's a really tiny hot spot I can't go everywhere on the map uh, should I try and go around here then maybe go up I, I actually don't know who gave me this game. It's got a uh, smiley face sticker on it, which means I I logged it back when I did my, uh, like, the Excel graph game logging thing, which was a really long time ago. So I must have had this for quite a while. East, east. Thrift store find? P possibly? It could have been. I, I honestly, I don't remember where it came from. Uh, south? Oh, the hotel. Wait, we need to go to a hotel. Oh, shit. Room 13, right? What's up? You've arrived. Good. I look, I look way different than Let's I did. Continue our previous discussion. Dude, everyone... Oh, no, maybe not everyone. Most people in this game have been quite a wooga. Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? Good. Now listen. Our kind have been arriving in troves to Gothos. There is a prophecy from the beginning of the first flood that is close to being fulfilled. 
None but the brethren themselves know its true nature. Some of the covens are trying to stop it. Others are trying to do everything in the power to carry it out. I, for one, am trying to prevent the latter from happening. Will you join our side? Sure, sure, man. Dude, Uncle Grumps, thanks for dropping that 20 subs, dude. Yeah, that's that's a Wooga gift subs. Thank you so much, Uncle Grumps. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thanks for the burgers, too. How can I resist? Mm, I was hoping you would join us. Since you are unfamiliar in Gatos, the other vampires will not act towards you until they can figure out your motives. You must use your anonymity to our advantage. I need you to see one of my coven in the catacombs by the river. He has something of great value and is in danger. Go to him. I can risk to see you no more. Okay, so something by the river. He's living in a van down by the river. Where the fuck am I going? Oh. Did she mark it on my map? Of course not. Uh, well, the river is very long. Dude, seriously, thank you, Uncle Grumps. Thank you, everybody uh, who has gifted subs or donated today. Uh, much too much generosity. Uh, west? Uh, West? West? Mm -hmm. Catacombs down by the river. Is that where I was just at? Mm, what a hamburger. Is this by the river? Uh... North. Oh, wait, no, no, no. South. Is it this? I mean, if it was supposed to be here, this dude is dead. Dude's already dead. Been dead for a while. I guess I'll just walk around the... I'll walk around the river bend. Uh... Here's a bench. I, I need to bite somebody. Oh, wow, indeed. I'm not sure where this is supposed to be. Does this look like any like any place in particular? Fake New York? Did I do that? Did I do that? I might have done that. Maybe over here? There's no catacombs up here. She's my first. She's everybody else's body like has disappeared. Hmm. Oh wow. I mean what do you guys think? Where do you think the catacombs are? Either I go back and explore up here again. I don't think they're over here. It could maybe be here? Maybe I'll try over here. Catacombs are probably in the graveyard. I mean, I can check that again. Oh, is this the catacombs? Okay, sure. Well, that was lucky. Oh, another rat. Another rat. 
No, he's fine. Have a new friend of the deceiver. I don't know. Uh, no. The thought of it brings up bile to my throat. Then, are you his fool? Mm, what a hamburger! I guess so, dude. I don't. I don't know. No, you can trust me. I was crossed by the ones I trusted. They laid ambush on me as I was returning from my task. <laughs> I have something of great importance to help the fight against the deceiver. Will you help me? Oh, wow. His face is already busted, man. Uh... I'm your servant. Yes! Take this. Keep it from the deceiver and his minions. But trust me, no. Excuse you, dude. Oh, awesome. Awesome. There he goes. Oh, sweet, some new clothes. Okay, so I got another scroll. It seems important. I know, I've already got two scrolls. I'm cruising over here. Tracy Bluth, rip. Thank you for the six dollars and change. A perfectly timed alert. And Punstito, thank you for the ten months. Hey Ian, love your content. My ex turned me on to your videos, and I haven't stopped since. Keep up the great stuff. Thank you so much, Punstito. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I've exhausted all of my leads now. I guess I'll just follow the rats. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, condoms? I can't use that here. Not with that attitude. Uh, cross? I can't use that here. Uh, I can't use that here. Okay, so some type of square puzzle in the catacombs. I can't use that here. Uh, back, back, back. Oh. Okay, I mean, I could go back to the hotel and, and talk to that lady, I guess. I really need someone else to bite. I feel like maybe I was too aggressive with the biting early on, and I hope I can find other people to, uh, feed upon. Mm -hmm. I mean, New York is a big place. You'd think I'd be able to find more people. PB and Jakin, thank you for the 29 months. Oh, you think I want to, you want me to try and bite the rats? There are a lot of them. If I can figure out where the fuck I was the city that sometimes sleeps oh uh, this is in Canada okay uh where was I around here probably
Only sad vampires drink rat blood. Well, I'm pretty sad right now. Oh no. Well, I guess I'm going into disc two. I definitely want to follow a guide for this. I think even next time I play, I might not want to continue. I might just want to start over and follow a guide, especially if there's a bunch of ways to lose. I just feel like I'm going to get stuck if I'm not already... Uh, if I haven't already screwed myself out of winning somehow. Let's see if I can bite this guy that I, I didn't want to bite before. Oh, he said he, was gonna, he wasn't going to leave, but he left. I've not played the Titanic FMV game yet, no. Oh my god. Uh, I want to go over here. What's going on over here? East, east, east. East, east. East, east. East. Uh, frozen? Frozen? I did snack on some tourists. I think the tourist uh, snacking was actually my favorite. Uh, hmm. Listen, making games is hard. All right. It's difficult to code games. I could definitely reload. But uh, Oh, I'm trying to decide if I want to reload or call it a stream for it is nearing 7, which is when I was going to wrap it on up. I already had dominoes. Okay. I stop when I can play forever. Honestly, because I want to start over. I'd love to start over and follow a guide. Because I want to see... I want to see where this is... Oh, I didn't even notice the vampire faces over here. Bump, 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 bump. Oh my god, I'm stuck in the fucking catacombs. Oh, oh, you want me to try to bite the rat? Yeah, let's see, let's see. Nah. Oh shit, wait. Okay, did I get some blood from that? Okay, I'm getting little blood. Oh, well, this is convenient. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. <laughs> it's going to be helpful. It's just infinitely respawning rats. I guess I could do that in the starter area, too. Where was this, by the way? Okay, it was around here. Yeah, I, I, it's starting to seem like maybe I'm not supposed to murder everybody I see. Which uh, is unfortunate because that is the best part of this game. I 
I still only see one of my victims laying around. Can, I don't think I can use the pimp phone. I don't understand. I can't use that here. I can't use anything anywhere. I can't use that here. It's true. Rats can't give me money and pagers with super pimp's phone or condoms. Uh, you, you get a lot of goods or money. How, how else would I get money? And I've been using that money, man. Get a job? No, I'm a vampire. My job is eating people. All right, guys, I am going to wrap it for tonight. I feel like this was a good first look at Gothos, but I do think it would be beneficial to restart and uh, follow a guide. I would not be opposed to doing that this month because I do, I mean, I really want to know, I really kind of want to know what happens and I want to see more of the cutscenes. You guys like this one? Tracy Bluth Rip, thanks for gifting that sub. Would you guys be interested in another uh, another Gotho stream where we can actually do the story? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet. All right, guys. I'm going to go work, do some video work, and then I'm going to eat some dinner. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Uh, this was a treat. This was a fun fun little treat. And I'm going to go now. Thank you to everybody who uh, donated and uh, gifted all those subs. Uh, again, very, very generous. And thank you very much. I'll miss you guys. I'll see you on Monday. All right? For something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I'll see you on Monday for something. Bye-bye. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. Plop.